Hello and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. My name is Tobel and our colony is looking pretty sexy right now. I do say so myself. We have recruited Worm, who originally came here to attack us, but we convinced Worm to leave her old ways behind of the whatever colony she used to be part of. And uh, she's joined us, so she is actually a miner who is not afraid to work in the dark. She has a undergrounder trait, which lets her never get... Um, problems with working in a really dark, nasty place, which is really actually really important in a miner because they're constantly working in a fairly gross area and they tend to have a lot of mood problems. Now, she already has some uh, from, I think, just unsightly environment, but that's the most that she's going to, to get, I hope. So we're going to let her rock out and start digging these tunnels because our goal right now over the next few episodes is to transform the space into... Uh, the starting part of digging into the mountainside. So we're going to have a nice flat flush area here. We're going to build straight out from it. And we're also going to move our farms across the river into this zone here. So lots to do, lots to work on. We're starting to wall off some areas to work on our defenses. So people are quite busy. We finally finished microelectronics right at the last episode. So we can go ahead and drop a new production order for the high-tech research bench uh, it is going to require electricity we have such a small base right now we could just stick it in the hallway i mean they wouldn't really care to be honest with you let's drop this down i'll tell you what let's remove the manager bench i'm so used to seeing plain door fortress I'm, I'm used to things happening instantly uh, but that's actually really not the case why is this broken what does this need to repair it's broken down uh, who's our builder again? Sorry, I keep getting confused about builder. Construction is primarily Logan. Logan, uh, you are or aren't you are replacing things already? Cool. We'll get that going. I don't know what Logan's been up to. Logan, oh, Logan still has the hall job. Well, that's silly. Well, we need stuff built now. So we need to get Logan back. That was my fault. I think I left Logan uh, working on some of those other ideas or other projects. Can you please deconstruct these two items if you don't mind? Please and thank you, Logan. And then we'll go ahead and drop a new high-tech research station right there where they uh, where those two items were. We'll also replace the manager desk over here. This will get a lot more fleshed out once we have more space to work with. So as Worm continues her expansive digging project, we will start to open up some more options for us. I think she's actually probably going to go out and start digging out the compacted machinery soon as well because we had that order queued up for a while so overall we're looking okay we need to you know we need to do a little bit more expansion we do have our new alcohol production which is exciting we can start doing make wort which you do forever and then i think it just automatically ferments uh how do you make alcohol was that a thing I can't remember, honestly. You put the... This turns into wort. Oh, okay. When you put the wort into the, the barrels to ferment, it comes out as beer or, or alcohol, whatever type of alcohol it is. So that's fine. So this should happen automatically down the road. We, we have to... We'd actually have to expand this list. You could even do subdivisions of labor, by the way. So if you want someone to, like, always specifically, you know, rescue downed animals, you could make that your number one priority. I'm not going to get too involved in it. Mostly because we've been playing a lot of Tour of Fortress that I'm, I'm really burned out of all the micromanagement on skills. So we're just going to let the system roll for the most part. It should be fine. It may not be the most efficient thing in the world, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's finish off this wall by putting one here. I think this is our lone Ibex, right? Or Gazelle that we uh, we actually have tamed somehow. It's I think it's self-tamed if I remember correctly. Add the mirror out in the middle of nowhere, getting a bunch of wood. Uh, worm has struck uh, steel here, which is going to be super useful. Visitors have arrived. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to send them away for the moment. That's going to prevent us from having a relations dip because our building is not of good quality or something like that. Oh, we already have this to set to deconstruct. Okay. Why is Bert upset? Holy crap, a ton of stuff. Soaking wet, awful bedroom, insulted, greedy for an impressive bedroom. I don't know what else to give you. I don't think we can do that until we really 
mine out the bedrooms in this area and we start to load them up with really nice things. My plan for the upcoming expansion is going to be one main hallway. We are going to have to shift things around just a bit, but we're going to have one main hallway running down here. We'll probably have all of the food stuff on this side by itself, and then we'll do most of the production over here. Once we move the farms, we'll even continue to expand the base down further if we need to. We'll have one main hallway. Uh, we'll probably have a cross section here. Oh, that's really annoying. It's actually at the width of the geyser. I think we mentioned maybe having a courtyard around the geyser and continuing our building farther down. So we'll see how that looks and how it feels. But I wouldn't mind... Having a geyser inside your base is nice because it lets you have the really super high strength or high power uh, production for energy down the road. I want you to go ahead and get back on the research bench because now we still need to start really ramping up our research production. There's a ton of components of steel. I'm glad we just struck a ton of steel over here. It's going to help out. Are you making... Is anyone actually making... Not really. No one's really making the fermented stuff yet. I think once they run out of... Uh, I think if we look at cooking, if we expand cooking... Where's it at? Brew liquors, fill food hoppers... Brewing must be somewhere down here. Maybe it's actually under the hauling job. That might be it. I think hauling is where I've seen it before. Fill fermenting barrels. We're going to change this down to two. Everyone really wants to have a lot of wort, so they're, we're going to make that a high-priority job to fill the fermenting barrels. Awesome. There we go. That's what we need to do. Okay, so that's working out well. I wouldn't mind getting one more recruit so we can have one more person to help be our carrying slave and our cleaning slave that would be really useful for our party uh let's go ahead and tear down this sandbag here hopefully if we keep re re reinforcing and, and you know extending the wall here we'll add another layer of the stone wall on the outside of it or maybe the inside of it uh we'll try to reinforce some of our weak spots so like this for example would be a weak spot here because they'd only have to dig through one or two tiles this is obviously a weak spot because it's just wood. So it just depends on what kind of a group of enemies we get. Major bank uh, break risk, Bert. You're really pissed off about life. Observed a riding corpse. Where the heck is that at? Was it this one? Or was it somebody who actually invaded us? Where in the world do we have a riding corpse at? How far out did you go? Oh, here we go. At some point, we've accidentally left that person uh, not get buried. So we'll try to have them buried over here at one of the grave sites. That should take care of it. I am aware of the mod that lets you do mass burials. I probably will do that once we start getting raids that have like, you know, 8, 9, 10, 20 people that you're killing. Should we turn this into a door instead? We might want to do that. Like a double door? Does that still act as a defensive platform? A wooden wall has 225 health. A wooden door has 104. So it'll be a little bit of a weak point. Uh, but maybe we can make it work. Worm's also not too happy about life. Ugly environment, because she's been spent all her time here where there's tons and tons of debris and everything like that. But she's almost done with her digging project, which is going to be really nice for us. And why don't I have her even everything out? It's, it's all relatively flush here. We'll make this the flush point. We'll probably have to make a wall on this area to kind of thicken this out to make sure that people don't want to go right into our base. People invading our base from behind would more than likely be the worst thing possible for us. So we like to leave a lot of a, of a gap here between the last bedroom, for example, and where people can walk. And if they start going that way, we can harass them by coming up from the side and stuff like that. Uh, did you almost... Are we out of components? It sounds like we're out of components here. And you weren't able to complete the high-tech research bench so hopefully next day the next day we're here worm can go start digging up some of the other needed items as well what are you up to are you are you bringing stuff home i really wouldn't mind it if you <laughs> prioritized uh prioritized hauling for a bit that would be nice we really could use a bit more hauling love to be honest but we just we really need just one more person i think and we'll be really set for the basic jobs
especially someone who might be a jogger would be a really nice addition because they'll always be moving very very fast we finally got our second wind turbine up so our batteries are filling up quite quickly i'm going to drop another battery here as well uh just to further increase our capacity in case we run out about to have another harvest of cotton which is going to add to our overall cotton supply which hopefully we can start making more outfits here in the next couple of days the manager tab i think stays right yeah so if you delete the manager desk you don't lose all the settings that you've already made huh that is a random little wall here i don't think that's gonna be one of those dangerous areas or anything Okay, so Logan is finally deconstructing that. We'll also do the remove floor tool. And hopefully none of underneath here will be the asphalt. Hopefully it's all going to be grass. Because that way our, our fields could stretch all along this section here. And we'll have to wait a bit for that. But yeah, our fields could do a nice long set of fields. All of our power could be on this side as well. Uh, we could try to lock off the area into the water and force everyone. The goal here... Ooh, that'd be interesting if we force everyone into the water. Because they, they're walking at 30%. Uh, Cyberdank is randomly going on a food binge. Cyberdank, you fat bastard. We love you, but you're going to eat all these meals. I think he just does go on a meal bender. Oh, by the way, this was supposed to be... This refrigerator was supposed to be for alcohol. Manufactured drugs. Beer. Yeah, I think that's all you get is actually beer out of this, but that's fine. Uh, hops for beer. So we'll make this our beer storage. I'm noticing a pretty intensive lag spike every so often. Okay, they're attacking immediately. We got a group of tribes people. This should be three or four. Uh, they are attacking from the west. Did we ever finish? We did finish these double doors, so maybe they'll come through probably this direction. Okay, so because they are attacking immediately, let's grab our two, three rifle people here, weapons people. Uh, Bert and Ernie here. You, we'll also recruit you to bring come on down. I believe they're going to come around this way. Yeah, they should. They have a lot of cover here. At some point, we need to haul these away and really make this kind of a kill zone. While I'm thinking about it, we're going to do that. They won't actively like try to do anything, but we'll set that for later on. Logan, I want to have here at the edges. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Logan here... Worm is going to be off to the side, and we'll have Adnamir and Bert hanging out here. Maybe... Yeah, we'll see how good this works out. Can't really have Cyberdunk help because Cyberdunk is uh, in a food coma. I'm going to have Bert pull back. Oh, you know what? Uh, Azazel, I believe, mentioned a really nice mod that lets people attack and move. So we might have to look into that pretty soon. I'm going to have Logan continue attacking the one that's far away. If we get one more kill, we should win this fight. They should withdraw. Azazel's going to focus this one right here. And they're fleeing, sure enough. Uh, Worm's getting pretty brutally beat up here. I would love to pull Worm out of this fight if I can. Worm just went down. He's going to bleed to death in five hours. However, we should have enough medical stuff to take care of that. Uh, a bit rough. Did this person die or are they injured? They're dead. They're dead. And this one? If they're moving on the ground normally, they're injured. Uh, but yeah, everyone else from this group is dead. And Brigillo, Brigallo is a bit too far away from us to get a good shot. I'm going to have someone chase her just for funsies. The rest of you are going to get unassigned. And Bird is going to get rescued by... Who is that? Azazel? Uh, who's carrying them? Oh, Bert. Okay, Bert is doing the rescuing. Uh, we're not, Logan's not going to be able to get over here to get a shot either. So we'll unforbid their corpses and they should get buried down the road. We'll keep all their weapons so that we could possibly sell them to a merchant that's passing on by here. That wasn't too bad. Now, now that you can see the difficulty is starting to ramp up a bit. We are starting to get more numbers in the raids. So the group that's going to be the most dangerous is not the tribes people, uh, but the colon... Oh, that's cute. It keeps them laying down if they're injured. Uh, the group that is probably the soldier unit. Yeah, this is these guys come with pretty high tech. The rest of these, I think, have, for the most part, simple 
weapons and tools but the guys that have the rifles grenades and molotov cocktails those are the ones that we really have to be careful about okay so our bench is completed let's open up the research tree we want to get some defenses going so i'm actually going to go all the way down to gun turrets and add everything in one go by just left clicking this should give us everything we need to research all the way through gun turrets uh we need to get worm are you already getting the right treatment? You already okay. You are getting the medicine, which is what we wanted to use, and hopefully your bleeding, of course, will stop. The rest of these wounds will heal over time. It's just a lot of stab wounds. That was pretty rough. Our skills are not too impressive right now. So what is this? Uh, what's your output at the moment? Can I see anything about that? Wasn't there a way to see that before? 94% research speed factor. Okay. I think the base value of the other research bench was like 75. Was that the case? So hopefully this is going to be useful to us. We should, in theory, blow through these prerequisites because they're pretty low on how many uh, research points you need. And we're going to have someone researching both day and night. So that's going to be useful to us. I think down the road we're going to lose Boxer. Maybe we should set him to Butcher now. Because no one has the skill in order to train him. Maybe the next person we get will be an animal person. And luckily just be kind of our animal slave. We'll do a little bit of both. We need to get some people back on hauling as well. It's always the frustration. is getting that nice balance between having people haul stuff away. Having people continue to do their jobs. And get everything done that you need. It's it's kind of a little bit of a challenge. I want Logan to manually start doing the deconstruction here. So I can start designating this area to be uh, kind of a walled off zone. Yeah, my game is freezing up every so often. That's a bit new for me. Might be because I haven't restarted in, a, in a bit, like a minute. Uh, so that might be part of the problem. Worm is not doing too good, obviously, because he's super, super injured. The rest of the group is pretty happy. Uh, we still have that love affair going on with Logan and somebody else. Who's who's a lover of who? Uh, Azazel and Adnamer. That's right. Azazel and Adnamer have been hooking up for a while. No marriage in sight yet. Maybe we need to drop a marriage spot on the bridge. This is kind of cute, right? I could see that being really nice. Or somewhere along the, the water. Hopefully not by all the bodies. Um... Yeah, that'll be nice and romantic for us. Sounds good. So you've dug all you've almost dug everything you need to, worm. Oh, you're injured. You're still recovering. What am I thinking about? You're not gonna be useful to us for a hot minute. We still need a cook. What can we sacrifice right now? I mean everyone is kind of needed at this very moment. We could send Adnamer down to do a lot more hauling. It's just it's just there's so much hauling to do. It winds up taking up that person's job for the most part the entire time. But we've got a lot of food, and I think Adamir is our planter. So if he doesn't plant things, then that's not the end of the world for us. Let's also add a couple more graves. I think we're full already somehow. It's a lot of death. I'm just surprised they just don't seem to care that, uh, you know, there's a grave full of enemy bodies. Maybe we need to advertise that a bit more. Hey, cool. We've exposed the ground, and we have a nice huge batch of unsoiled soil how's that uh we can probably do about here yeah so if we're coming across the bridge it doesn't really matter i suppose we could do what is how big is this again this is a seven by ten is that what this was seven by ten okay so let's do a we'll see how big this is and how it looks we'll do like something like a seven by twelve with a bit of a gap between everything. Oh, this is going to be plenty of room for our fields, I think. Yeah, this is going to look pretty nice. Uh, 7 by 12 there. This is still a bunch of fields, enough fields for us to use. We could even do a pretty long field like we have already, mimicking the corn field, just the way we were doing corn. So something like this all the way down, maybe? Like 22 by 6? 22 by 23 there? not too shabby so we have enough fields to really work with a lot of stuff um and that starts to cut into the rest of the area no big deal i'm gonna move i'm gonna shuffle a couple things around here 
too wide and probably like seven by Guys, I get so fickle on doing designing for for these farms. I it's it's crazy. I, it kills me. I swear. Why don't we just do a really long uh, corn farm field behind here, like this? That looks kind of nice. And then we'll cancel this building, and we'll save this for whatever else we want. Um, Logan's gonna be working on this for a hot minute. Worm is still recovering from their injuries. Again, this whole goal here is to shuffle our farms from this area over. And in fact, I'm gonna highlight all of our farms and disallow sowing. So that should free up Adnamer to do a lot more hauling for a bit. Adnamer, get your butt up and haul some cloth for us, please. And we're almost done with that first prerequisite for smithing to continue on to the turrets. I think I like the idea of making our enemies come into the water, even just for a second. Especially if that is the, the mouth of where they're, you know, they're trying to charge forward from. That's going to give them a lot of difficulty. The problem is it's so much wood and stone if we're trying to defend it and build it up. Hey, we finally got our stone cutter table. Let's just make any block indefinitely. I just want you guys making blocks forever. So we'd have to put a wall like here. We'd have to put a wall down to here. We'd have to wall off this little junction. It's worth it, I think. It's just a lot of resources at the moment. Something like this is roughly what I'm thinking. Finished research smithing. Nicely done. And of course, we could put like a, a little door here to the side. Now, sometimes they attack those, sometimes they don't. They, they often try their best to use existing pathways that are open to them. So they'll try to come in through this open gap. I think I want to make it... When I want to have them like walking, like have to walk through it for a minute or, or a couple seconds here. This lets them move through a bit quicker, but uh, they'll have to be walking through it for a minute on the water. So maybe we could put our a turret on either side of the river here. It's, it kind of kinks a bit, so it's we could line up some turrets directly in front of these guys. I'll probably experiment with a few different things when it gets really, really hard later on. I'm a much more uh, I'm a much bigger fan of straight up spike tracks, uh, spike traps. They can wipe out an entire raiding party if the raiding par uh, party comes the way you want them to come. So we'll experiment with this for fun. Because I've never used a river as part of my defense before. Wow, Logan is just going crazy on the uh, on the defense. Very nice. We've got smithing done. We've got walls up. Uh, our construction is doing really well. Our farms are doing well. I think we've got enough food. I've not really checked on the food, but we've got almost 5,000 veggies to produce. We could probably... Actually, all of these fermenting barrels are about ready to pop. So these are all going to come out as beer. Cyberdank is rocking out with the food binge again. Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, I forgot about... We have no production for food. Let's put our stove back in here. And, you know, I guess we'll just drop the butcher right back where it was. And it, it turns out we didn't really need to move it in the first place. We will adjust everything down the road. Maybe I'll do that between episodes at some point in the future. Maybe we'll do this instead. Let's put it over here. But probably uh, we'll use this whole section here all the way up to here for food. And maybe I'll do something like um, a little room for a butcher shop that's separate from the production for raw food. We might even have our dining hall on the same side of the building so that our our uh, cooks can just walk to their wall. Like if, if this was the kitchen and uh, this was the dining room, we could put these wall refrigerators right next to each other. Man, I'm getting some hardcore stuttering here. Um, very interesting. I wonder if it's a mod or it's the river or something else that's going on, but everything kind of freezes for a few seconds. Uh, normally it doesn't happen, so I'll have to experiment a bit. I don't think I'm doing anything else super intensive behind the scenes, but who knows? Maybe we're trying to uh, mine cryptocurrency, and I, uh, I forgot to turn it off. We also want to set a remove roof area on this particular spot here, because we're going to eventually... 
Oh yeah, and some relations just get worse over time. Uh, but we're going to eventually mine down these areas. And I don't want a roof overhead collapsing on us. So... Eh, we really don't have any beds for you right now. I like to make a nice place for our visitors to stay once they do visit. Uh, so sometimes I'll make, probably, in this instance, I might set something up in this corner here. Uh, and it's kind of like a little inn. It's got a, it's got a shop, because you can actually add shops to your game now, where you can try to sell your goods, and they'll just walk around and they'll buy things if they're interested. It's, uh, it's actually pretty effective, so it's quite nice. I think the one thing I wouldn't mind seeing in Dwarf Fortress is almost like... Oh, that was a quick raid. Shoot. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is going to suck, guys. This is a really bad raid. We are almost outgunned. We actually, I think we are outgunned. We got some of our defenses here, but not really enough. They're going to prepare for a bit. Now I'm unpleased with my decision, displeased with my decision to try and uh, do this river defense. I think I'm going to drop a couple traps here along the wall because the most likely thing is that they're going to try to uh, push through and then get off the water. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. We're going to drop another bit of sandbag here. I'm going to cut down this damn tree. <laughs> I'm going to make everyone number one on plant cutting, number one on construction to help out with this project. Hopefully I shouldn't have to set everyone to manual orders here. Are you all going up here somewhere? I mean, I could try to get an early shot at them. Oh, you stupid bugger. Well, you might die, but we're not going to allow anything through this door anymore. I could try to have a sniper take some shots. To try to get a couple early shots in. Who's our best shot? Eight. Azazel is our best shot. So Azazel, I'll tell you what. Why don't we use your... Yeah, they're actually attacking our, our poor innocent gazelle. While they're attacking, I'm going to see if I can have Azazel do a couple sniping shots to get some early hits in. Once he comes through the wall, or once she comes through the wall, Azazel might be able to uh, dodge out of the way. Okay, you're not going to be able to go out of that until I open it. What happens if you're just here? I want to get the maximum range shot so that they can't return fire too well. There we go. That was it. All right. We're going to retreat back into the gate. I think you're out of range for that shot coming up. We'll see. She's going to take one or two shots here. Nice. At least one shot. Uh, that's a plus. We Did we get all this construction done? Not really. Shoot. Uh, Logan, what are you doing? This is reserved by Adnamair. Oh, Adamir is bringing steel to a bunch of these traps. Okay, that's good. I think because Adamir has the um, the hauling job. Yeah, we'll try to get as many cheap shots in here as we can because there's a chance that we help them bleed out. Like, look at this one. Uh, they're going to bleed out in 11 hours. That was a huge shot to their torso, so that's going to be a huge help to us. Uh, just got a nasty shot on Trippin as well. Okay, we're going to pull Azazel back because I don't want Azazel eating a fully automatic shot here. Maybe one more. Okay, that's good enough. No. Nice! Right in the dome. Alright, so Azazel domed him. We're going to put Azazel over here. We're going to disallow these two. Uh, I don't think we're going to get these traps done before everyone gets over here. Let's put everyone into the military that's around here. And Logan's going to come up as well. I might take Logan off the military and have him try to do one of these traps or so. Are you building the trap or are you... Okay, here, I'll tell you what. Quickly build a trap. How close, how much time do we have? We have a couple more seconds. Okay. Uh, worm, you know what? You didn't grab a weapon after our last fight. How about you go grab a spear? Azazel and... Uh, Azazel and... Who else is it? Logan are going to hold down the corners here. You're already working on the steel trap. How much do you have to... Damn it, we're not going to have enough time. All right, we got to pull him back now. Adamir might be able to get one trap done here. But Adamir has really crappy skills anyways. Uh, Adamir, let's have you come over here. Away from the fight zone. 
Worm just got the spirit. Worm should get back to the fight in time to protect against any melee attackers. Okay, so we're starting to fire at the people who are in the river. All right, I don't want that. I really don't want them to take free shots here. Let's have one more of our shooters come over. Uh, I think Bert can't shoot right now, so we're going to have Bert pull away and have someone else jump in. Azazel will take the spot next to uh, Logan. And we'll have uh, Adamir sit over the side. I'm going to put Worm on the corner. That way he tries to engage these guys as early as possible. Uh, Azazel took a shot. A gut shot. To, oh, sorry, not gut shot. A gut shot to the left arm. We want this guy actually dead as soon as possible. I'm going to shoot everyone or change everyone's fire on this person. I'm going to have Worm rush in and attack this pistol here. Oh, nice. Nice. That was an execution shot. So hopefully the same thing that happens to us when you know we have someone coming on us with melee. I'm going to pull Worm out because now everyone's shooting over his shoulder. And the shotgun person's here, so we don't want that. Nice. What a great, great fight. Uh, a couple shots taken here. Azazel took one gunshot. And Adamir got shot in the leg. Do we have any friendly fire? Nope. What about Worm? Did you get a shot at all? You didn't. That was actually a pretty good fight for us. Let's see if we can chase them out of here at all. I don't think so because they're running on nice terrain and we have to cross the river. Uh, but I wouldn't mind grabbing one or two of them. Ellie is wounded. Uh, she's going to bleed out in five hours. But she is what? Uh, she's medical. She has no shooting skill. She's art. She does have animal skill though. She's trigger happy, neurotic, and a teetotaler. That's fine. Okay, let's capture her. We're going to have to turn somebody's bedroom into a prison room temporarily. Uh, Worm, can you please capture Ellie, a surgeon? Yeah, why not Why not get one more doctor in the house? Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for coming to raid our place. We have no mercy. Uh, free shotgun, free silver. Why not? What are your abilities? You have melee shooting so that you wouldn't be a bad defender. Uh, you don't, you can't care artistic or cook. You have creepy breathing and you're ugly, but you'd be a great defender and you'd be someone who can just run around cleaning things up, right? You're not incapable of cleaning, are you? You're not. Caring, artistic, and cooking is what you're incapable of. What about Yon, uh, who's the other person we're carrying here? I can't tell. I have to wait till they're there. He's done uh, bringing her in. Uh, let's capture Diver as well then. So we have two beds. We should be able to take care of that. How wounded are you? You're going to die how soon? I didn't quite catch it. All right, so everyone else is going to get back to it. I need to adjust the plant cutting stuff and the mining or the construction stuff. We'll keep this at two for you. And we'll put this down to three for you. And I think plant cut was at like three for Adnamare. Okay, this is good. I think with every fight, as long as we are, you know, grabbing enemies, I don't like this setup, though. I, I mean, I like how we held them for the most part, but it was it was more luck than anything. So I think we're going to have to do the kind of like the S-trap entrance. So I'm going to revisit this in a bit. I'm going to deconstruct probably this side and maybe have them. Ooh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe we have them. Well, we can't wall this off, can we? Dang it. That is interesting. Can we can we put a bridge and then wall it off? Can we wall off like part of the bridge here? <gasps> interesting. We can. We can put a wall over a bridge. So we're going to deconstruct this. Uh, we're going to let these guys get buried at some point. I'm going to build a bridge across the river, wall this off, make the entrance here, and I might have them come like be forced to come this direction. And that way we'll fill the entire space with traps. It's a pretty long run. And then we'll have all of our de defenses set up over here. We'll give that a shot next time. Which might come pretty quickly because, uh, holy crap, we're getting raided a lot. Ellie is going to bleed to death in three hours. Where's our doctors at? Um, what are you up to? You are going for a walk. Probably not the best time to go for a walk. Wait, who's not assigned to doctoring? Oh, it's Cyberdank and Bert. What? Is Azazel, Azazel not the doctor? Oh, he's not. I'm sorry. I, mixed, I missed that up. Uh, Cyberdank, you are tending to Diver. Who's going to die first? Um, 
awkward. I think Diver's actually going to straight up die right before we get to her. Let's see. Great time for a food binge, Bert. Really great time, buddy. You may not make it. Maybe. There's a chance. Yeah, I think we're going to get both of them. Do we have any other medics right now? Who else was on medic duty or who could be on medic duty? That's Bert, but Bert's on a food binge. Oh, Bert. You're killing me. Okay, we're going to switch this up and prioritize tending to Ellie instead. So that we can try to keep them both from bleeding. I think if we get them both up to like three or four hours, we should be okay. Bert, help out here, bud. Tend to Diver now that you're done with your food binge. Again, we're really only using our herbal medicine because, you know, we don't care all that much. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad to get one of the two of these folks. Uh, but I really want to make sure I save our decent medicine for our main colonists here. What about your resistance levels? Uh, 16 resistance, 8 resistance. So both of these folks are going to be pretty easy to recruit. Oh my god, I hate the sound of chewing. Uh, let's do re reduce resistance on both of them. And I think... Are they completely healed up, by the way, or are they still bleeding? Okay, they're both healed up completely. Now, one of them might get a an infection. Because we only used... It's pretty nasty in there, and we only used herbal medicine. We'll see if anyone actually gets infected. We need to add some more beds down the road, too. Shot out. Holy crap. Well, that's terrifying. Uh, yeah, buddy. You might need a bit of a slaughter. Sorry about that. Um, slaughter. Yeah, we're going to do that because we... Gazelle's pretty pretty hurt, uh, hurt pretty bad, so we're going to make that happen. Really need worm to get going again on the digging so we can get the rest of our base evened out here we need you know i want to get this set up first i guess i should get the bedrooms at the same time it doesn't really matter we'll need to shuffle people into the bedrooms it's going to take some time once we have either diver or ellie or both that's going to change up a lot that, that frees up a lot of people for doing menial labor like uh carrying and cleaning which makes everyone else happier which makes everyone work because they're not going into you know, spirals of grumpiness. People are at risk of death. Yeah, I think I think it's because their pain level is under is under extreme. But that is that should be going down because they're all healed up. Yeah, it is going down very, very slowly. But either way, those two are stable. Uh, the rest of our base not is not necessarily. How's our food? Are we still good on food? We still have plenty of meals. We need to get this built again. I need to give this a butcher creature order forever. Once the electric stove gets built again, we need to get back into making meals. Everyone else is healed up from that last combat. Who's starving? Bert? How is Bert starving? Did you literally just have a food binge? You bastard. Uh, Logan, can I have you prioritize? Ooh, we need components. Okay, Worm, could you maybe wake up and go dig in a place with components, like right over... Which one's closer? Across the river and somewhere like right here. Okay. That should take care of the issue that we have with uh, compacted machinery. Are you injured or are you okay? Okay, you just have a bruise from the auto pistol now. I do like the mod that changes people. Like, they basically make them, hey, I'm going back home, so I'm going to grab this one piece of random equipment. Uh, so he wants to sleep. Logan wants to build. How much do we need for this? No, 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 Logan. I want you to focus on building the stove because we need some more meals. We're not doing too hot on meals right now. We have a lot of meat, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing some complicated meals, which are just the lav... No, not lavish. We want fine meals. Uh... It needs vegetarian and then extra ingredients, 0.5 and 0.25. Uh, let's do until we have about 100. Someone needs to grab all of this uh, liquor here. Or is it not done yet? Oh, it's 88%. Okay, it looks like it's actually fully completed. But it looks like it's not quite there yet. Starting to break down the resistance of our two prisoners. Worm needs to get the heck up and start working again. I will go ahead and start the orders to mine out the bedrooms. 
Are these too big? Yeah, probably. But I'm a, a fairly big fan of having nice sized bedrooms because it makes people really, really happy. Especially when you start smoothing the walls out, adding things like carpet. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to have two more. This should be just enough. I will add maybe one more set of bedrooms here just in case we get any more recruits. Although this adds a little bit... It's a little too close to an open area, so I might pad this a bit with some stone walls down the road. At the start, I normally keep everything using the existing walls. Eventually, I think I will... It depends on how good we're making blocks. We're really, we don't have really good block production, so I'm more than likely I'm going to smooth the stone out. Kind of like Dwarf Fortress. You take the rough stone and you make it nice by smoothing it. So much blood everywhere. I can't wait to have somebody able to haul and clean things. We may even have them swap it out. So Diver is what? Diver is a, a fighter, basically. Really just a fighter. They're going to be doing most of the hauling. Uh, Ellie is a backup surgeon. And an artist. So she can make... I believe she can make... Uh artistic things out of the not the stone cutters table but it's the what's this other production item sculptors table so she can make really nice sculptures that increase the mood overall so we'll have her do that at some point uh yes i know the farms look like a super hot mess right now that's okay we are going to adjust the farms down the road and in fact after this set of harvesting i'm going to completely remove the flooring here i think we can i hope and I will probably start to transition some of these power wind turbines over across the way. Oh, side note. We, I think we can carry water. Yeah, we can have a waterproof conduit that can go across water. Oh, not deep water, though. So it has to go across shallow water. That's fine. I'm going to build this ahead of time. Because we're going to have our wind generator set up over here at some point down the road. So I wanted to go ahead and get this built now. We finished machining, so we're working our way towards gunsmithing and then eventually gun turrets. Uh, we did get this deconstructed, so let's build the bridge. Hmm. I think if we just cover it, maybe we don't even have to have anything. We just have it next to everything else. You know, I want to cancel this. This is probably the path that people are going to have to take. So we'll just see. Now, if you have that, can you build a wall on it? You can! Nice! Okay. So we're going to have a wall come up. Uh, and then we're going to have to have people come from this direction. I normally like to make it a little bit difficult for people to file in. One, two, three wide. Maybe I will kill some of these traps off. I'll tell you what. I'm going to recycle these traps and use them somewhere else. So once we have this going, we're going to put our security tab, steel spikes. I don't actually know if there's any difference between steel spikes and, you know, other stuff. Um, they probably take the inner wall here or the middle. You have a pr uh, fairly steady pattern here. This should cover anyone who's, you know, either walking wide or walking uh, in the center. If we have enough of these, we will, for the most part severely injure an incoming war party. Let's deconstruct that. Let's give an order to move these down the road at some point too. Because they are in the way. Uh, looks like Worm has been busy cleaning things up. We've got a lot more chunks to deal with so I'm going to give a haul order to those. Not that they're going to get moved yet until we have our new haulers up and running. Okay, a lot of action in this episode. The difficulty level seems okay. I think we're keeping pace. I feel like I'm a little behind on the tech tree, and that's because I chose to rush the high-tech microelectronics research. Hopefully, we can catch up before it gets really, really painful. I am aware that we're very vulnerable right now to the tunneling types of attacks, the sappers. They can and will both dig and blow up areas and get right into my base. So, like, for example, this is very thin in terms of our defense, so I will probably have to put something like a... Uh, what kind of a uh, what kind of stuff do we have saved up right now in terms of stone? We've got uh, some limestone and some sandstone. So we could put, for example, a sandstone wall here. I have to do it from the outside, I think. So I'm going to fill this entire area up with walls 
but you have to be a little careful so you don't get your characters trapped inside of it, your pawns trapped. So moving forward, we're going to dig out these areas. Uh, we're going to put some bedrooms in here, move some people away from the house, completely redecorate the interior. It's going to take a couple episodes. Once Diver and Ellie come into play, though, we're going to have a huge change in how fast we're able to get stuff done. So that's going to be a big addition to our, our side. Uh, we do have, we're okay on food. We're, we're more than fine on food. We're about to get more beer or some beer. Uh, it's actually storing it as critical. I don't think I want beer here. I want beer on this refrigerator. Yavol. Okay. And let's actually put beer over here as well. Hello, giant lag spike. Okay, it already is. So any excess beer will be stored in this uh, tile here. And is it critical or preferred? It's under preferred. This is under important. So beer will go here. So it's convenient for people to come grab a beer uh, as they're ending their day. Everything else is coming in quickly. I will set reset the farms up next episode probably and kill the rest of the farms here. We'll have to adjust our power supply across the river, but I think we're doing well there. We did get our wall because of the bridge, which let us build straight across the water. So hopefully we'll have a better defensive situation next episode. I do want to continue to give orders to cut down everything in this zone, though. All the plants, all the anything, because we want to have a nice clear shot at our enemies. Uh, researching gunsmithing, so we're very, very close to gun turrets. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of Rimworld at New Eden. Hopefully, uh, Adnamer, Azazel, their love affair can continue and develop into something a little more serious. Uh, will Logan ever find someone that appreciates her creepy breathing? Uh, perhaps Ellie, who also has creepy breathing. Or was it Diver, who has creepy breathing? Maybe that's uh, a match made in heaven. Thank you all so much for joining me. I do hope to see you next time. Until then, take care.